12 in the morning and I'm, I'm back with more streams of my dedication stream with my friend Kay which is the dark room so let's continue and yeah I'm gonna read some of the journal entries from Max's Previously journal last time so yeah So yeah, this is where I left off. Um, the last time that I played was we chose to go back in time to stop William from dying. So here we go. And this is what we chose. And what we saw that Chloe is injured and she is st stuck on a wheelchair. And a lot of equipment is wired to her. So yeah. I just got home from work and I'm here to give you more streams like never before and yeah good thing it's my work schedule is I'm on B shift so I will go in the go in in the afternoon so yeah I got plenty of time I might consider finishing the whole entire two more episodes so here we go Sent me actual letters. letters. More, More than, than my letters. letters. And, and even wrote on that cool parchment paper. paper. So, Max. So, so pretentious. But I love writing, writing on it like an English poet. You deserve, you deserve the, the best, best station here. Probably easier, easier to write than to visit me. me. I don't mean that in a pitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. But the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit to my best friend. Aww. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What if photographers call that? The golden hour. See? We thought you here, I have no clue. I bet you, you could take, take some, some amazing, amazing shots. shots. Those, Those beach wells are so sad. Kind of know how I feel. At least, I'm alive, alive here with you. You're a real, real survivor, survivor Chloe. I know, I know you, you have, have to deal with so much. much. I don't want, I don't want anybody, anybody else feeling sorry for me. me. I can do that. Along with, with my parents. parents. Oh. I still feel guilty about buying my own car. Are you okay, okay to talk, talk about, about the accident? accident? We never you actually have, huh? There's, There's not much to say. Some, some prick in an SUV cut me off and flew me through the ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in the whole time. I felt my back snap and then that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke, woke up in the hospital, hospital, I literally, literally couldn't move muscles. Jesus. I, I, I don't know what to say. say. Don't, don't say, say anything. anything. I'm just, just happy, happy I did get to see you again. again. I could have been vanishing out of the blue like a girl from Blackwell. Blackwell. You, you mean, mean Rachel, Rachel Chandler? Chandler? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
such a different world than when we were kids, is it? After that snow and eclipse, it's not like the end of the world. Don't say that. I'm not trying to bum you out. It just seems like Arcadia Bay is having a meltdown. I know things seem out of control, but as long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe. I'm sorry, sorry I have not, not seen you anymore. anymore. That was, that was wrong. wrong. You're my, my best, best friend. friend. Max. Max. Thanks, Thanks for coming, coming to see me. me. You're, you're, you're doing, doing awesome. awesome. I, I don't think, think so. so. Um, um, my my, my nose is getting cold. cold. Maybe, Maybe you should get, get back, back to my place? place? It, it is hell cold, cold out here. Hell? I, I hate, hate that word. word. Nothing. Nothing. So yeah, after what happened to the accident, uh, she changed the timeline. William survived, and she, you see, he, William bought a, her a car, and then the accident happened, and then yeah, yeah. So here we are, back to normal civilization. But yeah, it's, it's high tech layer. Feels like a high tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. But that's it. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive. When you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around with all the signs and all. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <coughs> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? Yeah, time to look for some water. Nope, that's that one. Here we go. Give her some water. Drink up, God. Oh, oh man. man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't, I don't think, think I can talk to as much as the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I wish could punch, punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, Dude, I am, I am a, a pod, pod in a cast. In Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're, you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become, become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. now. Seems like you were kids in your life. You're right. I wish I could take us all the way back there again. Wish I could build us a DeLorean. Oh, well, um, with your scientific mind, we might do that. The time travel can screw things up, too. Plus, he'd have to be my even assistant to help me build a machine. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends back. Which friends did you hang out with the most? I'm not going to meet her, but you don't know her. She was cool. But after my accident, she was too cool for school. I know I wasn't around much. No excuses. I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not super max. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. Are they okay? I mean, 
Why are they so happy together and everything? So now you're Dr. Bill. I guess they're good, considering they have to deal with me. He laughs and hold hands. And I hope they still get busy, too. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks, and the medical bills are fucking insane. I bet. This tech it must be crazy expensive. Along with the drugs, the nurses, the supplies. Mom and Dad are always broke, and they get so frustrated. Is it worth it? Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, no pun intended. You are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I'm no geek when I agree one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie if we would spend the night at my house. What do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Chris. I know. It would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when you watch movies. I remember Max. Where I won't fall asleep. Not when we're here. Not yet. So yeah, I will read some of the journal entries. Oh yeah, you have only one. Due to Due to the, a lot of the destination things that are happening in this game, so yeah, we can read some of the diaries only here in the in an alternate timeline. So September 4th, 2013. So much to do. I wish I could slow down time, especially to reso register all the cool things that have happened since I'm back in Arcadia Blackwell rules. September 21. Yes, I'm older and thanks to Vic and Nathan, I'm now a bit more fashionable too. They surprised me with the most beautiful straw pork pie hat wrapped up Furukishi style. Best birthday best birthday party ever. Also drunkest I can sleep. October 4, hey diary, remember me. Busy Max, busy, busy. Can't right now. Must shoot, must live, must best friend. Should rekindle with Chloe too, but must vortex first party time. So yeah, this is the time where... Okay, let's look for the DVD player. Here's the DVD. Okay, here we go. Plug it in. We watch as Max and Chloe enjoy a... Uh, Parts of Blade Runner. But yeah, they're having their time and. Sleep so fast. How dare you? I know you were beat down after the day with me. And Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Um, do, you, do you think Beckett is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, 
I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and bullshit. Fuck. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you please, please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's, uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I need it. Um, my parents keep this bag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. A pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. So, yeah. Let's go up and get the... Murphy injector. God damn, it goes in the uh, If you want to talk, hit me up, okay? L love you, Max. If you're mad, just tell me, K. Okay? Silence. So if you want to talk, my door is open. Love you, K. Okay? Uh. Hello Max, this is William. If you want to contact Chloe, you can use this number. She would love to hear from you. See you soon, I hope. Bye. Hello Chloe, Maxine here. I know it's been a while, I just wanted to let you know. I'm going to Blackwell Academy now. I, ho I hope this is still your name. Max is back. Blackwell, that is so awesome, you rule. Best of all, we can hang again. So yes, this is still my number. Cool, I've got a buttload of homework, but we'll get together soon. Don't tease me, it's been too long. I know, I'll see you. Emoji. Okay, let's go. We're getting the morphine injector in the CR. Switch on the lights. Okay. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine too. Here? Nothing here. Cabinets. Bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. Another one. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. Okay, let's go. We're going down. Yeah, there's no more journal entries. Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um... Stop me if I'm being too emo, but can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some cool pictures of us when we were kids. Please, my diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. There we go. Oh my god, look how little we are there. 
They look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. You laughed at me. <laughs> My dad would have vanished if you Oh, awesome picture. You look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. Oh, man. There we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally it seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo. Maybe I could. Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was locked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible, and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. You understand? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. Yeah. I'll just... Drift asleep, dreaming of us here together, forever. It's the most hardest thing that you can do, but I don't want her to suffer, really. So, yeah. Thank you so much. I'm so proud of you for following your dreams. Don't forget about me. Never. I love you, Max. See you around. Sooner than you think. Chloe. Oh yeah. Focus on the photo. Here we go. We're reverting back time. Someday Dad will get one of them new fangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Hello? Hey, honey. What? what? Oh, I didn't know you had to take over. Of course, what some things do I want. Shit, where am I going? That's a dollar for the square jar. You need your college bar. Aha! You can't hide from me forever. I know Chloe and Max want to take me. Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Matt, you'll be the two, right? She's never leaving. That makes all of them. 
So yeah. Max, you're being so fucking strange. Like you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different. Like, my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have her back. Always. So everything we did in the in the previous time, that means no more. It's just we're just back to the normal timeline that uh, William died and David came in and Mary Joyce and Chloe became everybody's teenager. So yeah. Currently we are in the back of the house. Yeah. Yeah, we are looking forward for a lot of the music clues that we have gathered from. Chloe, you're alive. Yes. Whoa, whoa, down, Max. You get one kiss, now you're all over me. I'm just, I'm just, I'm so. Yeah, high. like. You sound. Figure out all the clues that we have gathered from the game. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was so still spaced go. out here trying to put all this info together. Yeah. Max, Max did, you did you forget, forget we've done over this? I hope you are messing around in time lately. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out too. Yeah. Let's look at the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far. Let's see some coffee. The best to keep you to coffee. Yeah. So let's look at all the clues. Before I start, I shall read some of the journey entries. So yeah. There's quite a lot. And I'm going to read every single one of them. It's not enough that cake is dead and I'm numb inside. I had to get the Blackwell third degree from Principal Wells. It was bizarre to be in his tacky office and Ethan Prescott even went to send Mr. Jefferson calmly talking about why Kate jumped off the roof. Part of me wanted to smash Nate's smug face against the... Okay, I'm done with this. So yeah, here we go. I need the vacation from my life. I hung out with Warren on the lawn so I could feel grass under my feet and watch the fluffy clouds. He's such a sweetheart. He kept telling me I did everything I could for Kate, even though I know I didn't. I told Warren that something ominous is happening at Blackwell Academy. Rachel, Amber, Chloe, and now Kate all have been victims, not to mention me. If I keep playing, I'm a sure detective. Wish I could have told Warren about my power, but it's not the right time. No pun intended. And to make the day end on the most surreal note possible, the sky went dark and we watched a solar eclipse that was not announced on the news or any astronomy site. What is happening to our gate today? 
Hello. Dear Diary, October 9. I have the power to rewind time and I ended up on a roof top trying to stop my friend from jumping off while trying to prevent the possible destruction of my hometown. I fell asleep at my desk and w woke up reaching out to rewind or grab Kate. I remember when my journey, a journal entries were about which anime character I wanted to be or my dreams of being a respected globe ho hopping photographer or what made me or what me and Chloe would be doing when we we were finally adults. At least we know how that turned out so far. Chloe's determined to get to the uh, to the bottom of what's going on. So I've been playing what could what would Chloe do, which means blowing off my Blackwell homework to research everything I can find out on Kate Marsh, Rachel Amber, and the esteemed Prescotts. It would be too easy PC if they were all connected, but at this point I think the whole town of Arcadia Bay is connected to this crazy shit. I can already see the story on the National Geogra Geographic Channel. Mystic Scientist or Apocalypse, the Arcadia Bay Tornado. Shudder. Speaking of fear, I can still see Kate and her sad, hopeless eyes on that roof. I can't believe she's not here anymore. I hear some students are organizing a petition for Blackwell to set up a scholarship in her memory. That's the least this place could do for her. At least I feel better now that Nathan is suspended. It's good he's off campus for a few days. I hope and like I give a shit and the Prescott family sends a f team of lawyers after me. Please, I doubt they would like all the pus publicity. I doubt their ta tentacles reach into the rest of her KJB, not yet anyway. Leave it to Chloe to make me sneak out past curfew and demand I meet her in front of the main building in the dead of night. I knew Chloe would all would be all over investigating the campus after what happened to Kate here. This just makes Chloe more desperate to find out what's happened to Rachel, if anything. It's funny that even though I think I can just remind myself out of trouble, I'm in more trouble now than ever before in my life. It, if it was a Twilight Zone story, I'd be getting set up for some serious irony. Like I'm going to rewind myself out of existence, out of myself out of existence or something. Can I honestly say I have this ability for the rest of my life? Are the, are the tornado, the snow, and the eclipse just hallucinations, or are they genuine prophecies? More importantly, this is a curse or a blessing. Chloe is alive and by my side, and that has to be a miracle, which means there must be a way to stop my vision from coming true, right? So yes, I b broke curfew to hook up with Chloe, so she she said she had something to show me. Looks like uh, it's time for some serious detective work. Keymaster Chloe. Enter the Blackwell Ninjas. As I stealthily made my way out of the hall, I saw a shrine in front of Kate's door. I was surprised when it just popped up right after she died. Like everybody at Blackwell suddenly felt guilty for how she was treated. I am glad that so many people wanted to, uh, to honor her. The cynical side of me says, too little way too fucking late. But I know that Kate would smile and forgive us all. Sight cry. They um, that was too close. I was doing so well until I got out and of course it was Principal Wells of all people blocking the way. The one person at least I wanted to see. I wasn't ninja enough for him to... So yeah, he, wanted, he busted me but I finally got to see that the gossip was true for a change. Principal Wells was shit-faced. He didn't even try to hide. In fact, it was a lot cooler drunk than sober. I can see why he's so confused dealing with Kate's family and the Prescotts and David Madison. He still acts suspicious and gives me way too much. to, As he would say, nobody says that seriously. But I can see that he's under a lot of pressure, so much that he's so wasted that he can't even use his keys at midnight. Sure, he was in my way, but he was no match for my rewind power. After all, I had to go and meet Chloe Bad Max. Even though I thought I was in full ninja mode, Chloe still scared the shit out of me, which pissed me off considering what I've been doing through. 
I've been going through. Sometimes she's so damn insensitive to other people's feelings. She wants all my attention for her and finding Rachel and she gets all but hurt. If I don't have time for her, obviously, I have time in my in hand. But I can't stay mad at her for long and she wants so damn excited about having the keys to the main building and honestly I was pretty amped up too. Even more so when we went to the front of the building and spied on Victoria talking smack about the shocked Enverse actually trying to blackmail Mr. Jefferson to pick her photo for the Everyday Heroes contest. She's freaking unreal. I gave Jeff I gave Mr. Jefferson major respect for telling her to get lost, even though she deserves to be expelled for pulling that crap. Th this is her priority after what happened with Kate. I just don't understand Victoria, no matter how I try. She's already rich, pretty, and a good photographer. Why try so hard and hurt so many to manipulate everything already in your favor? I just hope that's not what I'm doing with my rewind power. Yes, there's something incredibly awesome about breaking into your own school at the witching hour although chloe was technically right how can we break in with a key never mind that it was a stolen key from the school's head of security anyway the black woman just strikes again so i will leave with 44 and we will solve this this clues so close here so close far away we have, we to, have do to do three, three main things. things. Right. right. Uh, um, what things? One, one. decipher Frank's log. Yeah. Two, two. get Nathan's phone, phone to find, find out where he's been, been during the war sex club parties with Kate and Rachel. And, and see whatever hidden shit he's got in messages. messages. Three, 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 step through Stan until he tells us about Frank, Frank Nathan, and the dark. And I do it again. Keep it in your face. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass and rewind. Fine, whatever. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. At least you let me take that money with your Frank off. Don't remind me. I just want him off your back. Our back. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyber stalk some names and see where that leads. And be careful of stuff there. He's not going to be a happy camper after you reamed him yesterday and mom was giving him the boot. Come on, partner. I can't abuse this level of my rewind. Power. It's way too dangerous, and I need to navigate the present without messing up the past. Yeah, let's go. Let's interrogate David. You won, won this battle, battle Max. Max. You broke, broke up my family. I salute you. David! I didn't, I didn't try, try to hurt you. Ever. ever. But, but I, I won't let, let anyone hurt Chloe. Too, Too late, late, isn't it? Isn't it? You just, just better, better be, be damn, damn careful with her. Don't, Don't you wander off into the dark. dark. Let's see what we have here. It looks like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. Whoa, that is a serious padlock on the walker. Hey David, what you hiding? For once, I don't have time to search for the code. Oh, I need to find a way to break this padlock. Look at that one. Okay, let's look for something that I could pry it off. Crowbar, here we go. Okay, I can use that crowbar to pry open the locker. Yeah. Wait, man. I 
promise I'll help Miss Grant next time. If there is one. Oh, meow, Miss Grant. Twist that knife. At least he has one weird fan. I promise you, I wish I had surveillance footage of that conversation. Surveillance cameras at Penn State? David must be working for the Prescotts, too. Okay. We will know soon. Sorry, David, but I bet you would do the same thing as me. Let's see what we have here. And here we go. No coordinates. Photos of Kate, Nathan. Yes. Okay. Okay, we got that. Score. Back to Chloe now. We're going back to the room. Hey, no, Chloe! Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. Now let's go find out what Nathan is hiding in his room. We have to be extra careful. Max, now it's time for Nathan Prescott to be afraid of us. So yeah, um, we're almost halfway done with episode 4. Now a lot of people are into the dorms. Hey Max, how are you doing? Oh, hi, hi Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. okay. Um, um, and this and is this my, is my friend, friend Chloe. Chloe. Yeah. Chloe. Why isn't somebody, somebody as cool as you going to black? I was always cool for the school. It's a long, long story. story. And I chose last year. I can imagine. Max, Max are you sure, sure you're all right? right? It's, it's weird, weird just, just being on campus, campus like everything's normal. I know. Lame as it sounds, life has, has to go on. on. I think there's, there's too, too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell will be calls. Remember, I'm going, going to announce the winner of the Everyday, Everyday Heroes, Heroes contest, contest tonight at the party. party. So, so I hope, hope you'll be there to celebrate. celebrate. Even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. photo. I understand your reasons. reasons. You can't, can't force an artist to work. work. I feel like we're total losers, but it's been a hard heart to do things. No pun intended. I'm proud of you for caring so much about the trouble, friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just this. Get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely, I'll definitely be there to Me too. I'll be I'll back, back to state. state. You better you dance with us at least once. And nobody, nobody should have to see me dance. dance. Plus, you don't, don't want, want to watch the old hipster, hipster trying to keep up with the kids. kids. I have I some pride. Right. Right. Be seen. Yes, I will. Hot four teacher. Gross! You are out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rage is nice. Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignorant. Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if we can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that's great. Let's see if I can find out where we can So yeah, this is where I shall stop the videos and I shall return a little bit later so yeah this is where I will stop the reading and I shall stop the streams here for uh, for today and I shall come back a little bit later in the morning so see you later